got a product review today about this. It's an Airsoft, I think it says Airshot. And what it is, it's an air compressor. It's for people that do tubeless tires but don't have an air compressor. And you can use this air can that you fill up with a regular floor pump. So today I'm going to do a tubeless. I'm going to replace my old Richie tire here with a new one. This one still has a little bit of sealer in it, so I will be careful and clean up my mess. Okay. I got a damp rag ready because I knew it was going to be that way. That takes care of that. And let me go dump this. care of that. I'm going to clean and check the old base tape, make sure it's in good shape. And it seems to be, I'll make sure the valve is tight. We're good. I like to remove the valve core and that's just the tip of the valve it makes when I compress the air in more air goes in fast to help get the bead to lack always check for directions on your tire although the Z-Max tread is pretty simple to figure out without the arrows I should put my glasses on. the tire on without any sealer and once I got both beads on I will soak down the uh, the beads it that helps the tire to slide onto the rim surface tire bead against the rim bead helps it to slide in and keep the tire round and not have lumps in it or things you have to flex out or correct later. I like to go where the valve is make sure the bead is on each side of the valve because sometimes it gets stuck on the other side and uh, then it fights you. With the air shot, make sure the valve is up because in this direction you see the air comes up. So it's just a standard press the valve. I'll pump it up to 140 or so, 150, maybe 120, see where I get tired at. I did 
140. Uh, we close the top valve. I don't think that matters. With the valve out, it comes with an adapter that screws inside the valve. It also comes with a standard one for the top. But not having the valve core in helps to let the air flow free right in nice and quick. Oh, I forgot something. I'm going to put a little soapy water around the bead. Sometimes this ain't even necessary. I've just done, done enough tubeless tires to know that if it doesn't work dry, a lot of times soapy water is does the trick and it just seats really quick. Sometimes I have to go in and re and retape the inside and make the tape thicker or come up the sidewall. There's all sorts of tricks to doing tubeless. Okay. go. Let's not lose the valve core. And, okay. We'll flip the switch and see what happens. There you go. It's on. I'll have to put sealer on it. I'll get that ready. Show you how I do that. I got some stand sealant. I have a, uh, I happen to have a reusable syringe and a little hose to go over the valve. So when I take the air shot off, all the air is going to come out, which is fine, but the bead will be locked in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour, the tire costs are about 60 milliliters, I think, which is about three syringes. And uh, I always shake the, uh, the sealant because it's got little... And I'm covering the bottom of the syringe with, uh, with my finger so it doesn't pour out everywhere. over the valve make sure it's not secure so when I go ahead and press the fluid through it doesn't squirt all over the place and got a little bit of squirt came out right at the end which is fine and I will put two more in there ok 
Like last time. Although my syringe seems stuck, there it goes. Nice and slow. There's two. And here's number three. Everything is on. How about that? Didn't even score it that time. I'm going to pull this off. I got the valve core ready. back in, get my rag ready. I find that my blue spoke wrench fits the valve core really nice. Since the valves up here, all the fluids on the bottom, which is good. With any luck, I'll be able to just use a regular pump now and just pump it up. Worst case scenario is I need to pop it with the sealer in there with the air shot, but when you do that, sometimes, oh, there we go. And you can see the sealer coming out around here and around the bead. That's good. And I'll pump it up to about 60 and start rolling the sealer around. Down here, it's probably sealer. Up here, it's probably the soapy water. There we go. When you're doing tubeless, that pop is always a great noise. It means the bead is locked in. I pumped it up to 60. And then sealer around. I'll, see. I'll go around like that and shake the tire. And that swishes the fluid back and forth up against the bead. Take my wet rag and wipe off all the soap, excess sealer, whatever came out. Just like you see some right down here. There, that could also be stuck from the rag too. Boom, locked, sealed tire. I'd have to say, this made the job a lot simpler because if you don't have an air compressor, getting tubeless to sit with a regular floor pump if it doesn't have some sort of extra chamber like this, it makes it more difficult. 
Can it be done with a floor pump? Yeah, I've seen it done. But it's always a lot of hard work. This made it simple and I bought it on Amazon. It wasn't that expensive and with the amount of bikes I have with tubeless, it's nice that I don't have to go start up a big air compressor and wait. I could just do the job. Totally worth the purchase.